Hi folks, back again. Uh, Bathrobe Chronicles number 109. Um, get the old watch going. I didn't make this up. Okay, I'm going to talk about, I guess in the loosest sense of the word, TAP therapy. T-A-P. And I, uh, that's not an acronym, by the way, TAP. And I've got two here. One of them's kind of sad. Uh, now, this is a fellow who I assume is a PhD in psychology. I assume I, I, I could be wrong. And he he here's and I might have to read some of this, and then I'll you know rant and rave or whatever. He starts off that the history of whatever is one of the current ther theories. Excuse me, on the cause of cancer is that most cancers are caused by severe psychological trauma such as the death of a spouse or loved one. This is according to a guy named Hammer. I don't know what kind of doctor he is. It says here, according to Dr. Hammer's theory, it typically takes about a year before the developing cancer is identified. Uh, anyway, this poor guy, he, 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 it says here, my discovery and development of thought field therapy led to the loss of my successful psychological business. I was in my mid-50s. Uh, he ended up getting a divorce. His wife went and married some rich guy or whatever, and so on and so forth. So I'm going to skip through some of this stuff. Uh, so anyway, this guy, oh, the guy shut down his practice, uh, and he started using this, this stuff that he's talking about, this, uh, what did he call it? Thought Field Therapy. <clears throat> anyway, his wife left, okay. Uh, it was very intense and endured for years until I found further development in my tapping protocols and the important role of toxins in complex problems. I believe my prolonged love pain and grief was the cause of my cancer. Whether you agree with Dr. Hammer's theory of causation or not, anyone who develops cancer is at least traumatized by the shocking diagnosis, typically TFT, that's that thought, thought field therapy, is able to quickly eliminate all traces of both traumas, that is, the originating trauma, if present, from years earlier, and the trauma of receiving the diagnosis of cancer. Tapping away the negative emotions from trauma can reduce stress and help create a clear and calm presence in the face of this much feared and dreaded disease. Uh, you'll notice one of the words he used in there was toxins. And um, for those of you who might be new, the new folks who subscribe, I readily admit I have no medical training. I'll just go over this on this one, you know, and get this out of the way. I have no biology. Uh, in fact, I had, <clears throat> I had no science in college, none. That's a long story, but I made it through college without science. So I have no, no training in physiology or, or chemistry or physics or anything, okay? So keep that in mind. <laughs> Everybody's talking about toxins. Have you noticed that? Uh, in fact, I've covered a couple of things about that. The thing you put your feet in and it sucks the toxins out of the bottom of your feet and all of that. Everybody's talking about toxins. My understanding is toxin is poison. That's, that's about it. And you detox, of course, from, from poison. I'm sure there would be a protocol that you would use. And, uh, of course, you detox from alcohol. You know, you know how that goes. You, you're no longer drunk or whatever. But everybody talks about these toxins. But what this fellow is talking, well, I'll tell you what, since these are both similar, let me go to the next one I'm going to talk about. And it's the same, it's the same stuff. In fact, I think they even mentioned uh, this thought field stuff. So here we go on this one. Now, this one is called, I'm not sure what it's called, but here's how it starts. And I, I apologize for having to read, read this stuff, but that's the best way to get it across because you wouldn't believe it anyway. Uh, modern emotional acupuncture technique holds key to helping Habe's wounded 
and solving mounting challenges faced by disaster relief workers. Do you get that? Janice Gibson, noted practitioner, all these people are noted, who knows her, you know, of energy meridian tapping, EMT, has launched the first EMT-oriented website dedicated for use by medical rescue and disaster relief personnel. Anyway, she has the listing of her website, and it contains critical information about energy meridian tapping, a needle-free acupuncture technique which can be used by anyone, listen carefully, to relieve pain, stress, anxiety, and other health problems. The site's launch comes at an especially critical time as humanitarian aid workers from around the world race against time amidst unimaginable conditions to assist Haiti's millions of earthquake victims before the arrival of the rainy season. Excuse me. Uh, let's see. As nearly half the Haitian population has already or will be subject to life-saving amputations, let's, I mean, it, it's here. Tapping will be useful in helping these people on several fronts, helping them to cope with the emotional issues associated with losing a limb, alleviating the pain of suffering through amputations, in hundreds of cases without anesthesia, anesthesia, excuse me, to deal with the psychological adjustment to being an amputee and relieving the symptoms of phantom pain. Energy meridian tapping is, <coughs> excuse me, is a user friendly version of the long established meridian tapping modality called, she's referring to the other dude now, thought feel therapy. <coughs> and we're getting ready to run into a big lie here, I think. Energy tapping therapies have been well documented as significantly improving pain. I don't know whether they're well documented. I haven't seen it. Impaired range of motion, stress, anxiety, phobias, physical symptoms, and other health conditions. EMT's basic premise, here we go, is that the underlying cause of every negative emotion and almost, and look, I'm just going to read it. And almost every physical symptom is a disruption of the body's energy flow along the same meridians that were mapped over 4,000 years ago by Chinese physicians. 4,000 years ago? Whoa! It says here, acupuncturists use needles to stimulate key points along the meridians, but in EMT, people tap on those points with their fingertips. Okay, I'll be I'll be right back. I hope you, I hope I'm not boring you guys. Just a second, I'll be right back.